Well, I think uh, this upcoming season, we're, we're a team that uh, uh, is made up of young, younger players. Uh, we don't have any seniors on the team, and so that's always a challenge. I don't think I've ever been a head coach and didn't have a number of seniors on the team. So our, our, uh, our junior class, our sophomore class, and our freshman class is kind of who we are. And, Loaded really with sophomores and freshmen. We have four juniors and 13 freshmen and sophomores, so that's a that's a challenge for us. And but I think uh, we have great chemistry. Our kids really enjoy themselves. Uh, they they enjoy each other. They like playing with each other. Uh, so we've had some good competition in practice. We we need to really try to focus in on finding a point guard. Um, we've got four young guys trying to be that guy and somebody trying to be the backup as well. But somewhere along the way, we have to make a decision on. Who our point guard is, and uh, and go with that guy, and let him grow and, and, and develop. Back to Brickman. Brickman down the lane. This is short jumper for Ward Smith off the glass for two. Great job by Jordan Brickman there, driving, putting pressure on the defense, and finding Ward Smith. Some yeah, Ward Smith was a freshman last year as a sophomore, who's a very very important part uh, of our of our puzzle. Uh, Isaiah Roberts is a junior who who played really well towards the end of the season and. He's important a part, but so we, we have a lot of unknown parts. But uh, I think we've got some young guys who are quality players that just don't have the experience, and so that's where, as a coaching staff, we were trying to preach uh, eh, during practice to be consistent. Um, it's easy to practice well one day, and now it's a little harder to come back and do it again, you know, the next day and the day after. So we've been trying to get our younger players, which were which the team is made up, to be consistent in practice try to play within themselves and do the things that they can do and play to their strengths. And drives the baseline for the mid, puts it up off the glass, Moot with the offensive rebound and the flush. That's what you can't teach. You can't teach 6'10". Well, I think that we had a young guy named Jared Smoot last year who played some towards the end of the season, and uh, he's, he's vastly improved. And we've got a young big guy named Will Kelly who's a freshman who's played well in practice so far. So those two kids are going to kind of be the anchors in the middle force. We're not a real big team other than those two guys. So we have to be very efficient in rebounding the basketball. We have to team rebound. We've got a lot. Of, we have to do a lot of things as a team. You know, we got to, we got to play as a team. We got to play as a unit, like like all teams, but more so because we we uh, we've got an experience and we got to kind of rely on each other. Rolls up the left side with four. Rolls center of the floor. Left wing fires a three. It's good. With 1.5 seconds to go, Win gets it into Smith. Three-quarter court, no good. Unbelievable. So we had a very trying year. We didn't, many, we didn't win many games. I think we had somewhere along the way, uh, we played okay early, and uh, we're in some games, played some people really, really tough. Um, people hit some big shots against us. We lost our confidence. But saying all that, our kid, the kids were great young men to coach. They, they did exactly what you asked them to do. They were... Uh, highly motivated. Um, you know, I just think that the year two will be much better for us. We'll have some more depth, and uh, which will be which will be a great benefit to us. So we're looking forward to the upcoming season. Uh, I think we'll be a, we're a much improved team. Uh, we got some, you know some young guys who can who can help us, and I think the older guys who return have, have really improved their, their their games as well and gotten better. So um, you know we're looking forward to it. Left side, Donye Jackson. Stutter steps, drives, dumps it in, Smoot. He goes up and rim rocks it right on. Oh, they I just think, uh, you know, we're excited about uh, the Patriot League. I think we've got two new members who are going to add a great deal to the league. Um, you know, one being a little geographically in Boston, and obviously the other one, Loyola, right down the road from us. But two quality teams, two, two great institutions. Uh, both of them very successful in basketball, which will um, help their Patriot League. You know, we've got, you know, we're going to have 10 members. and going to be a very, very tough and very uh, competitive uh, league, and we're all trying to get that one golden ticket to the NCAA tournament.